Good morning, friends. How is everybody doing? It's Friday, and I'm coming in for a check-in and recap and a tip and some tips. And, and then I'm going to read something to you because you guys know how much I love books. I love sharing all this stuff that's out here and why keep it a secret. It's not going to help anybody if I'm not sharing it with you. All right. So I'm really super happy to be able to come in for my Friday check-in and recap because I was traveling and I was doing a lot of different things. So the schedule was off whack a little bit, but, um, it's okay. Y'all understand that this is how it is sometimes, but there's some really great things that I was doing. I was at a wellness center in Virginia and I was preparing a class for there, for that place. And I'm going to be doing more of that. And I'm going to be expanding that course um, for, for other people. Yeah, because they could benefit from it. And that was a, a, a suggestion from one of my friends. So this week I talked about a tip that I have I have shared here before. And there's a ton of resources on it out here. There's different ways to do it. And I was talking about the body scan. And it's a great way to... Um, tap into stress in your body and other things. So before I get into that, I want to ask you how you're doing. I want to ask you if you are practicing mindfulness. If you are, I would love to know in the comments what you've been doing. Um, a lot of people share with me and they send me messages and stuff like that. And I really love that. I love hearing about what you're doing. So I would love to know in the comments. Just drop a comment or you can message me or you can email me. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And then I want to ask you how, if you've um, scheduled your physicals, because those are truly important. Have you have you checked in with your doctor? Thanks for the thumbs up. And have you um, just taken better care of yourself is really what I want to know, right? And then you don't have to tell me, but it, just just doing it is a great thing, right? So what is this thing that I talk about, the body scan? The body scan is a way to, um, the way that I have used to relieve stress. And what I do is I go from my feet all the way up and I use this technique that I created myself. And is every time I find tension, I pretend that it's exhaling. I'm ex exhaling that out, right? Of course, always check in with your doctor. If there's a pain in your body, something just doesn't feel right. You want to make sure that you're checking it out to make sure that there's not something um, giving you a sign that something's wrong and you're just ignoring it. So always check in with your doctor. I'm talking about stress and tension in your body. <clears throat> and what I do is I start from my feet and you can lay down, which is best to do this. It gives you an opportunity to chill. Um, you lay down and you inhale, close your eyes, inhale, exhale, and move up. And as you're moving up, wherever this tension is, when you inhale, you exhale it out. Right? Inhale, exhale it out. And you do this all the way up to your head, right? You can do this a couple times. You can use music if you'd like. I always like to light a candle, have a scent going. I like doing all those things because they prepare my space for relaxation. All right, so I want to read something to you. And this is from Find Your Mantra by Acel Gunner. And I'll add it in the comments, okay? So we this is something about thoughts and thinking about things that, well, thinking about thoughts, good thoughts, right? But sometimes our thoughts are bombarded with things that we're worried about and things that are going on, right? So this is thinking about happy thoughts, right? So think happy. We spend most of our day thinking, thinking our thoughts and intentions are the architect, architect, architects of our reality. Sorry. How we choose to perceive the world, the details that we pick up on, and the relationships that we select to nurture our minds are all at our beck and call. Choose your thoughts wisely. Know that the thoughts become words and actions in the privacy of your own mind. Begin the change. Choose positive thoughts and take positive actions. Think happy and a happy life will follow. I love that they, they say that here, right? So mantra. So the mantra, it's almost 
I love mantras. I'm actually in yoga right now uh, getting my certification. Mantras are really great. They're positive. You can sing them. You can say them. So through transformation is a process. Thought transformation is a process. On occasions when you find yourself slipping into less than happy thoughts, try welcoming the opposite. I am worthless because I am worthy and I cannot morphs into I can. So I am worthless becomes I am worthy. I cannot mor morphs into I can. When you start worrying about worst possible out outcomes, shift your thoughts to think of the best possible outcome instead. This is one that was very hard for me to do, and I work on it on a daily basis. It really, really is super, super, super helpful. So the mantra benefit is these subtle changes to your thoughts will ripple into your life. By thinking happy, you'll find that little sparks of joy will warm their way into your daily activities. Think happy thoughts, and eventually you will be generally happy too. So... What is a good way to do this is to write these things down, right? I love the worry purge, and I know I'm bringing a lot of different elements into this today, but that's really what it's about, right? So all these things do come together, they work together, and they work together perfectly. So when you're thinking about something that's worrying you, right? And there, and I know, because I'm a mind person, I worry about everything. You start writing it down. When you see it, you transform that negative into a positive. So you change the words. And you have your mantra there and you can just carry it with you and just repeat it over and over again. Your mind is so powerful, people. It is super powerful. And yes, we can create things there as well. You know, when you're thinking about all those worrisome thoughts, you're creating a storm sometimes in there. I know because I do it. So anyway, I am so excited to be sharing this stuff with you. I am working on some great things. I will be having... I will be creating more courses and I will be doing that here and I'm just so excited to be bringing you all these things that can help first responders and other people as well. I want to ask you to do me a big favor. If this resonates with you, I want you to copy it. When I, I'll share the link in the comments. Just hit on it, copy it and share it out into your pages if you don't mind and invite people here i i'm also on instagram at wellness for you with tony if you don't mind following me there and there's something great that happened this week that i want to share with you so i donated some bottles to her brotherhood she creates subscription boxes and i sent out these bottles to her and she was so gracious to feature my my item in in her subscription box so i'm really really honored that that happened if you want to know what I'm talking about, just send me a message. I do have this chill out spray and that's what she featured in her box is the chill out spray. And I have some other cool things that I added to it. All right, people, I want to remind you to do something daily for yourself, to place yourself on top of the list because it all does start with you. And more importantly, I want to remind you to stay safe out there and I will talk to you soon. Thanks everyone for hopping on.